All right, guys, you've waited for it for almost a year now, Missy Jen. The fans are demanding that we go back for Dollar Tree food Russian roulette, huh? And that's our chance to sample not the top cuisine of the world, but some of the uh, some of the bottom cuisine of the world here now. Before you call up the lawyers, right, Missy Jen? Before these companies call the lawyers. I'm not saying like King Oscar Kipper Snacks is a low-end company, but sometimes you can have some overproduction and things can end up in the dollar store. Yeah. Okay? So tell people don't call the lawyers. You know? You can have high quality products that you would buy in a regular store <laughs> but not likely <laughs> and sometimes sometimes when a truck has an accident the trailer flips over into a cornfield in Iowa or somewhere pick it all up then they pick it all up and then take it to the dollar they store they just auction it off or you know put it up to jobbers and jobbers right, will sell it to wholesalers and you eat it the insurance pays pays basically the load and then so um, the deal is, we started uh, about a year and a half ago, we, we started this uh, Dollar Tree food, Russian roulette. Now, why do we call it Russian roulette? Because let me tell you guys, we have eaten some really nasty stuff at the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to single out, call off the lawyers, okay? We're not going to name names. Now, luckily, Missy Jen eats just about it. Think she's a good eater. She's she's uh, you were raised European style that you try everything and give it a try. And I spent five years in the darkest recesses of China and places like that. And as I always say, I'll eat anything on the table except the legs. It's fine, you know. I'll shovel it into my gob, and I'll give it a try. And I never got sick for five years, believe it or not, despite the lack of refrigeration and everything else. So. But it's not to say that we haven't had the little rumbly bellies after we've done our food test. It's not to say we haven't had meat that was a little green and, and fluoresced a little bit and had a little bit of a green sheen on it. Or slices, right, Swiss slices that were made out of processed plastic. Can't call them cheese, right, Jen? You had to call them Swiss slices and stuff. They yeah. were absolutely horrendous. Was, uh, okay. Missy Jen almost packed her shit and moved out. My God said she said, Rosie, this Russian this Russian roulette, Dollar Tree food, Russian roulette is a killer. Now, on the plus side we had Morrison's cornbread kit, which was delicious. That was excellent. You know? Yeah. We remember yeah. that. We had quite a few things that were good. Now having kicked off our next season of Dollar Tree Russian roulette food stall. We'll also be doing Dollar Tree hauls too. But the first thing we've got here is the Jamaican style. This is golden crust. It's Jamaican style chicken patties here. It's like an empanada. Okay, can you see that? And this is uh, this is made by who makes this, Jen? I got need to get my glasses. Uh, I can't even see where in the hell. Let's see. This is made by a Golden Crust Caribbean Bakery on Park Avenue in the Bronx, New York. Okay? And if you want to call them up, they got a phone number on there. But www.goldencrustbakery.com. This is a turnover with chicken filling and flaky crust. Okay? Might be okay. For a buckaroo, we'll see. Could also be something that uh, sends us spinning to the ER. We just don't know yet. Okay? Now we've got the Fisher Boy. We bring the fun to fish. Boy, you got to beware when you see packaging that says that. There's the fish sticks, right? We got 12 fish sticks. The thing is dripping. Okay? I mean, check it out. All right? That's appetizing, right? A dripping box of fish, <laughs> of fish sticks. This is processed and handled by Highline Foods of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, www.fisherboy.com. And we'll do a little thing. I'll do a little feature like I usually on, do on the end to blow the cover off of some of these companies that are producing some of these fine products. And you know the ironic thing, Missy Jen, is 80% of them are produced right here in the U.S. So, yeah. okay. 
Now, finally, we've got some King Oscar, some lightly smoked herring fillets. So we're going to start with this today. We have the fish sticks in the oven. We're glad to have you guys along. We're going to go ahead and plate these bad boys up and give them a try. These are the King Oscar, which is a premium brand. It's park, uh, packed by Tri-Union Seafoods, a licensed limited corporation, LLC, in San Diego, California. Well, we're going to be in San Diego. Maybe we'll drop in and tell them what we thought of the, uh, you know, make a trip by Missy Jen and try Tri-Union uh, Seafoods. Tell them what the hell we thought in there, King Oscar. Huh? That's right. All right, guys, let's get the uh, let's get the show on the road here. Let's play yeah. them up. All right, that's the way the King Oscars look. We're gonna go ahead, flip that open. We always like to give the uh, we always like to give the old sniff test first, right? Because the nose, nose, right, right, Missy Jen, and a couple times Missy Jen's almost keeled over. On this. Yeah. All right, now these look good, huh? Yeah, get us a couple. We got to be careful. These are a lot of juice, a lot of juice coming out of these babies. And I know you guys are saying, "Yum, yum!" I better get us a couple paper towels too, Jim, because we wouldn't want to get, we wouldn't want to lose any of that nice juice there, huh? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sort of empty the juice out so we can give you guys a look here. Okay, Domino's all excited. And there we go there. Oops, dropping that juice all over the place. Yum, yum, Jen. Ooh, yeah. I get your appetite builder right there. So I'm going to get Missy Jen and put out some. Now Missy Jen's German. She knows all about herrings and everything. So it's nothing to her, right, Jen? There we go. Yeah. We got one of those bad boys for you, and uh, one for me. How's that smell, Jen? Pretty good. Yeah, it smells huh? like Harry. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, let's do a close up first, Jen, before you uh, before you go divvying in there. So okay, guys, we're gonna give it a close up view. What does it look like out of the can? King Oscar Kippered Harry. Yeah, you take. You want to try your uh, cutting off a little chunk there. All right, that's what it looked like. We'll set the camera back and we'll have a test. Okay. All right, uh, gentle lady, start your engines. Here we go. You get that smokiness, you get that uh, fish flavor. Yeah. No flies on that. I mean, that's pretty good. Domino, you're going crazy here. You got to wait your turn, okay? You got to be a good boy. So I would say that these yeah. uh, these are pretty tasty right here. They're deep yeah. on. Hmm? We'll save a little bit for Domino. That's yeah? pretty good. And George. Hmm? That's pretty good, yeah. I'd say that rates up pretty good. Not bad, not bad. That's the uh, Kipper Snacks Lightly Smoked Herrings. I'm going to declare that a winner yeah, today. It's really huh? nice smoky flavor. It would be a it. nice snack. Really nice. I don't think for uh, a buck that you could beat it. You know, if you're looking for a light dinner, maybe on some crackers or something like not that. Not greasy or anything. It's yeah, really it's really nice. good. Really good. All right, so we'll have to stop in the King Oscar. We're down in San Diego. and So that's the winner. Give them the thumbs up. Maybe they'll give us the factory tour. Huh? What yeah. do you think? We'll save these for uh, George and uh, Domino. Huh? We got two pieces in. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Poor Millie. Huh? Yeah. Millie's on the wrong side of the gate today. Hmm. All right. Not now we're going to continue. Bad, not, too bad. not too bad. Actually, quite good. Now we're going to continue with the fish theme. We have already put our Fisher Boy 
fish sticks in the oven. And we're going to go ahead and grab them now. We'll see you guys in a minute. Fisher Boy fish sticks made from minced fish. Surprise! But it does list the fish as Pollock, Whiting, Haddock, Cod, and Sole. So, you know, I'm not seeing shark in there or anything like that. So, not that shark is bad, but I'm just saying a lot of people think shark is used in a lot of stuff these days. So it says, if you're not completely satisfied, please call or write to info at fisherboy.com. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab them. I'll be right back over here, okay? We gave you a little look at them there, and uh, Jen likes to use tartar sauce. I'd like to use a little cocktail sauce, but yeah, a couple of them for the doggies. I got two for the doggies there. Uh, the first one we're just going to taste straight up. We're going to have one of these straight up and see what we see what we think of the taste. Fisher Boy fish sticks. the fish it's a little light on the fish but the Almost flavor is like chicken yeah the flavor I think is a, is to me is a pretty decent uh, fish flavor but uh, you know they're not loaded well you know I don't know it's hard to say I mean you guys be the judge there see that that's a problem I'm afraid of it's uh, this could be like fake fish What do you think? I like it. I think it, to me it tastes no different than uh, different than a Gorton's, and uh, I know people hate it when I'm just cheap and dining and stuff. But uh, you know it is what it is, guys. But uh, I've had a hell of a lot worse for fish sticks. I haven't made my eyes pop out too much yet. I have a feeling that this baby's going to blow my socks off when we have this Jamaican, Jamaica style chicken empanada. So, uh, mm. yeah, I just think for a buck you can feed yourself okay on that. For you know, you're going to get six ounces. Bad. Yeah, for a buck. You got to remember, guys, this isn't, uh, you know, this isn't fancy John Seafood. Uh, yeah, I'm just suspicious here. that this is not going to be like your fish. It says it's men's fish, so... Well... Hmm. You guys know men's fish going to be... Men's fish is going to be the guts, it's going to be the heart, it's going to be... You know, the head, the whole deal, right? Are you okay? See, I shouldn't have said that. Missy Jen's now going into, uh, going into crazy land here. But... What do you think's in your hot dogs you eat? Hmm? I don't eat hot dogs. Yes, you do. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I feel George and the dogs. All right, we've dogs. had them on the grill before. I always stick them to the dogs. <laughs> right, for a dollar, they're not too bad. Not I too say bad. for a buck, you can't go wrong with these. Uh, if you're not having, you have the cravings for fish sticks. Yeah. All right, so there it is. Now we have to we have to take our golden crust Jamaican style chicken patty empanada de polo, and we are going to microwave, cut open the bag along the length of dotted line, leave patty inside the package for a crispy golden crust. Place patty inside the microwave for two minutes on high. Okay? 
So, I'm going to just do exactly what they say. I'm going to cut across the line, wherever the hell the line is on that. I don't even see the line. Oh, there's, I guess that's the line. Is that the line? Yeah, I guess that's uh, cut. There's the dotted line along the side there. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to prepare that. I'm going to microwave it. We're going to clean our plates here, clean our palates, and let's continue with our Dollar Tree Russian food roulette russian roulette food we're not eating russian food today okay we're having a russian roulette food tasting and you better focus this mm, camera it's the okay? russian roulette extravaganza <laughs> all right see you in a minute all right we're just gonna wait on missy jan no she didn't go okay she's i don't know she's probably taking a treat over to uh millie vanilla the chocolate lab from next door the unfortunately is not strong enough to make it over the six foot fence over there anyway i have put the uh, jamaica jerk chicken uh yeah it's a jamaican style and i can certainly smell the uh, spices here so i'm going to go ahead and carefully open this now this is hot this packaging is really brutal. And this thing is very flaky. So what I'm going to try to do is put it out here on this plate. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to cut it for Missy Jen and I. You can see there's still a lot of a lot of flakiness left inside of there. So I think I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for Missy Jen. I'm going to cut her a nice uh, half of this baby here. Put it on her plate. And this is the uh, Jamaican jerk. Okay. Nice and hot on the inside. We'll put that on her plate. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a uh, taste test here. Domino, you're eating like a king today. Dollar Tree style in Georgia too. There it is. Still got the uh, steam coming off of it there. Who is that head back there? Huh? All right, so just wait for Missy Jim. And here she comes. All right, I've got it all cut up, Jen. So <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm going to probably have to cut mine up with a uh, with a knife here because it's. Or you have to pick it up whole. I think this is like a hand food anyway. But if you want to use the uh, knife, it's a very hard crust here. So I don't know if you want to pick it up and just uh, try it. Like I'm going to try a piece now. Mm. Mm. This is chicken. This is a Jamaican style chicken patty. It's an empanada. And it has the uh, delicious uh, spices on it. It's got the Jamaican style. If you've ever had Jamaican jerk chicken, it's got a little bit of heat to it. But I find the flavor pretty good on this. I find the, uh, the uh, crusted part very interesting too here. It's got pretty, pretty, uh, pretty intense spicing on there. You can definitely tell the um, curry. You can definitely get the curry. There's definitely curry, which is a Jamaican a spice. Of curry. Yeah, and Jen will tell you I'm not a big curry aficionado, but I will eat it. You know, curry Singapore foods and things and like that. A lot of, a lot of, lot of for, lot of forward flavor to this. Very hot burning sensation. Spice. Now, if you have fake teeth or something, then you might not like the crust. Is like kind of really hard, you know, you don't want to crack the tooth on it, but, um, yeah. 
It does have a decent volume of filling in it. I think for mm -hmm. a dollar, you know, one of these for a lunch would be pretty good. A little too spicy for you, or what do you think? I like it a lot more. Missy Jen does The problem is the spice overpowers the chicken flavor. Yeah, Missy Jen is not, is, she likes stuff less spicy. When your that. mouth is on fire and you don't taste anything anymore, then what's the purpose of the food, right? I might as well just be a fire eater. There you go. No, Missy Jen is not really into spicing like I am the hotter. It is. They talk about Sichuan food being hot. Sichuan food can't even hold a candle to Hunan food. That's where Chairman Mao came from, right? Mao Zedong. And that food is hot as hell. So I base everything off of that. And a California Reaper pepper and a ghost pepper. But to me... I don't think Missy. I can tell by Missy yeah, Jen's reaction. Not, I don't think you'd buy these again. I would not eat this again okay. because it's just <clears throat> it it just tastes like a very spicy, hot curry pocket of some material that's just hot, spicy curry. Yeah, I'm always a little nervous too when the ingredient list is like uh, four inches long with six thousand ingredients and stuff on it. But um would I buy that again for me? I probably would. And we have a beef beef one to test next time too, so there it is, the three products today. We've had the Kippered Herring, King Oscar Kippered Herring, the Fisher Boy Fish Sticks, and the uh, Golden Crust Jamaican Chicken Patties, the Jerk Chicken Patties. Now, Missy Jen is thumbs up in the uh, uh, King Fish. Oscar Kippered Herring. Yeah. The uh, Fisher Boy Fish sticks. sticks and your thumbs down in the... Thumbs uh, down in this because okay. when the flavor, when the spices just overpower everything, you can't even tell what you're eating. So I'm going to vote Sorry. thumbs up on the uh, King Oscar herring, thumbs up on the Fisher Boy Fish Sticks, and I'm going to give a thumbs up Kind of a tepid, lukewarm one. I agree that this, the spices on this are ballistic. But then again, if you buy something that's Jamaican jerk spices, you know that it's going to be a pretty spicy thing. So, we'll see. We'll call that, uh, what do we call that? Five and a half thumbs up at of six today. So, thanks so much for being along on another uh, Dollar Tree Russian Roulette food stuff. And enjoy our look at some of these companies that put some of these products on our Dollar Tree shelves. And then leave some nice comments in the comment section down below. And don't forget to also smash oh, that man. like button. <laughs> I get people complaining they ruined their computers and phones, right? Smashing down that, that like button. Thanks so much for being along with us, guys, on another Dollar Tree food-tasting Russian roulette. Mm -hmm.